Kansas City, the mecca of barbecue. We're eating our way through the city in America's heartland following only locals' recommendations. Y'all cannot skip 2.30. You have to try, have to try a little barbecue ice cream. Cream. The V-Man is Kansas City. Okay, pork V-Man, find a nut cheese. Let's see if they know what they're talking about. Oh my god. Mm. This thing is awesome. This is what they call a mochi donut, and it reminds me a lot of a Dutch ole bowl. Like the inside is much more doughy than a regular donut, but the outside does taste like a chocolate donut. Oh, this thing's amazing. So of course we had to start our day at Black Hole Bakery. And you might think it's weird that we're starting a Kansas City video without barbecue. Don't worry, we're gonna have that later. But it's just that everyone in our neighborhood, everyone said, try Black Hole Bakery. So naturally that was our first stop. And we're also at a local strike. This is called Loose Park and it's a really beautiful park. Oh my God. No, uh, um. This is brilliant. They're so gooey on the inside. I don't understand how they do it. And you can like really taste the cardamom. This is probably the best. I don't think, I don't think I would call it a donut, but probably the best I've ever had. That's what? Donut? Yeah. Great start, Kansas City. Two of the combo plates, combo. Uh, both of them with ribs, and then one with brisket and one with the sausage, and then an order of mac and cheese. Yeah. Nice, nice. Thank you. Guys, right now we are at Q39. This is probably the most recommended place in all of Kansas City. It's a very famous barbecue joint, and Kansas City does one thing very, very well, and that is barbecue. I can't wait to eat this. It smells so good. This place is very lively. I got ribs right in front of me. I'm like shaking in anticipation. I'm very hungry and excited. Time to dig in. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness. No, this is awesome. This recommendation was on point. I was a little bit anxious. If we didn't like it, we'd just get completely roasted and kicked out of Kansas City. But these pork ribs are just so, so tender. Just fall off the bone. The barbecue sauce is awesome. I want to live here. It's confirmed, Q39 totally lives up to the hype. This place is awesome. It's a better than that one. You may have noticed a few things missing from our order, but don't worry, this is not the only time that we're gonna have barbecue thank in this video. You. Bye, thank you. Bye, yeah. Hey, that's the city. <laughs> Okay, I think this is a great opportunity to tell you guys how amazing the people here are, right? The nicest people I've ever met in a reasonably big city. Yes. Yeah, so yes. cool. Yes, it's crazy. We love Kansas City. Not from the US so I don't know anything about American football but I do know Kansas City and I know Patrick Mahomes so that says a lot about their team because they're super famous and also Gordon's giving me a face behind the camera I know the Dolphins, pins up, whatever but yeah pins up baby but I like Patrick Mahomes he seems nice oh I did it So right now we are in Messenger Coffee Shop in the Crossroad neighborhood. And the Crossroad neighborhood is famous for a thing that happens the first Friday of every month in the summer. And it's packed with concerts and tons of people. Today is Saturday and there's basically nobody here. <laughs> I think it's more of like a downtown kind of neighborhood where people don't really hang out during the weekends. But anyway, this coffee shop is very cool. Very highly recommended. They have delicious coffee. I can confirm that. And they also have something that I was looking for everywhere. 
Kansas City is famous for something called a cheese slipper. I had never heard of a cheese slipper before coming to Kansas City, but I found a cheese slipper. Let me unveil this baby. <laughs> I bet it tastes like cheese and bread. I'm very cheesy. Just to be clear, I'm not hungry at all. It's like a brioche with cheese on top, a jalapeno, and some other cheese. Mm. I think it would be better if I reheated it. So we toasted our cheese slipper. That smells much better now. It's nice and hot. We'll give this thing a second try. At the coffee shop, I called it a brioche. That's because I don't know what things are called. But I think it's more like a ciabatta. Uh, topped with cheese. And again, some other cheeses in there. Jalapeno. I was holding it. <laughs> so as you probably expected, it is much, much better after you reheat it. And if you eat through the middle or eat the middle part, there is actually the jalapeno, jalapeno bits and different types of cheeses. It's pretty enjoyable. Cheese slippers, people. Oh, and if you're wondering what we're doing in someone else's home right now. This is the reason why we are in Kansas City. This is our little doggy. So we are house sitting. We are trusted house sitters. So probably if you're new around here, you don't know what we do, but we full-time travel, mostly internationally. And when we come back to the US, we stay with our families and we do trusted house sitters so we can catch up with work. And that's how we got all the amazing local recommendations here in Kansas City because our host told us where to go and our neighbors told us where to go. So that's why we know all the insider tips. And Clarence is going to tell you something. Tell him, Clarence. Gordon and Aymara are the best trusted house sitters. You should subscribe to their channel. Do it look alike. <laughs> mm, yeah, stick your tooth out. Yeah. <laughs> Popular spot. I think this is going to take a while. I hope it's worth it. We noticed you guys were filming when we were done eating. Yeah. If you want to take a tour in the back? We'd love to oh, no way. show you some of the warmers and stuff. Yeah, that'd be awesome. You just come up to here and we'll get a manager and we'll show you all the cool. appreciate it. Thank you. Email fries here and I can get those emails to go. Cool. Thank you. We told you guys we would be having barbecue again, and here we are in probably the most iconic spot in all of Kansas City, trying the most iconic barbecue food from Kansas City, Burnt Ends. I can't wait, we've been waiting all day for this and it looks delicious. So Burnt Ends are kind of like the leftovers from the brisket. So brisket is usually sliced, but the tips are too burnt to slice and too fatty. And that's kind of what they sell here in Kansas City and it's a specialty. But we doused in barbecue sauce and it's time to pop them in. They're really good. <laughs> of course they are. No, they're really good. Mm. I was expecting way more of like a char because they're called burnt ends, but they're not too burnt at all. They're like super juicy, fatty, flavorful. The barbecue sauce is really good. So this place obviously also takes barbecue very seriously, but we were told to order the burnt ends and the sandwich that you can only find here. It's called the Zeman. I don't know how I'm going to go in because you can see the layers of brisket, onion rings, cheese, barbecue sauce in a fresh bun. Looks amazing. And this is the small version too. I can't imagine how big the Jumbo one is. I'm just gonna go in. What I love too is there is people getting gas right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit extra barbecue. Hey, seed baby. Go Chiefs! <laughs> There's people <people's> there. <laughs> mm. Burnt ends, what's up? Kansas City, what's up? <laughs> That's so good. My favorite city in America. 
Uh huh. Three up here and three downstairs. I'll run you guys downstairs. We'll take you down yeah. here and show you. Smells so good. Oh, yeah. It smells so smells amazing. I think we're in some sacred place in Kansas City right now. The back room at Joe's. Where the magic happens. That was so cool. I was expecting to see meat, <laughs> but we just saw the smokers, and that was really cool. I think because we're almost the last ones here, the line is done. So yeah, there's no oh, more meats in the smoker. <laughs> <laughs> but that was cool. Another proof that people here are extremely nice and awesome. Because this has only happened to us a handful of times in our travels. Uh -huh. I think this is the third time. So that was cool. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Mexico. That's true. And Kansas City. Kansas City, baby. Let's go home to Clarence. We'll see you tomorrow. The best uh, thing uh, here. Yeah. Right? The, whole, the greatest thing about the whole experience. Yeah. <laughs> do we need a little bit friends, right? Do we need a little bit more time? Yeah, I think we do. I also have a question for you. Yeah, yeah. So we're not really from this area, but we read that uh, cinnamon rolls and chili are a thing. Is that true? Here? In, in Kansas City? Um, I don't know about chili. I know the cinnamon rolls definitely. Are definitely a thing? Okay. okay. But okay. chili is not, you never heard of that? We read barbecue. that and we thought it was very yeah. weird. Barbecue we had, yeah. Barbecue is our... But we were like, cinnamon rolls is and chili? Food. That sounds kind of strange. I've like, never so heard it's not chili. a thing. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. I know Kansas City is known for its barbecue. Yeah, Where are we from? Sure. Florida. Florida? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been there once. Oh, nice. <laughs> I went to Destin. Oh, cool. And then I came back oh, and then I was like, how can I move there? We have been sitting for five minutes and we already have warm cinnamon rolls on the table. I love this diner so much and I love that in this video we've had cinnamon rolls twice already. The cinnamon rolls are one of my favorite things. And again, everyone is extremely, extremely nice. These are complimentary. Yeah, free cinnamon rolls too. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> mm hmm Nice and warm. Oh, they're so perfect and soft. Breakfast of champions. Oh, I love this. So I was definitely not expecting her to say that. I thought that cinnamon rolls and chili were totally a thing. Actually, right now we're in a very classic diner and I read and we heard that they serve delicious cinnamon rolls and they have chili. So I thought the combination would be available here. And I read online that's a super big thing in Kansas and maybe Kansas City. But it turns out that that is not true. She has never heard of it. But I do have to say, we've been in touch with a friend of our newsletter, Elena, who said that cinnamon rolls and chili are one of her favorite things, but she thinks it's more a small town thing in Kansas. No chili and cinnamon rolls, but we have chicken and waffles and... Biscuits and gravy, the country <laughs> special. A Midwestern delight. Yeah, this place, we, it was never recommended to have that specific thing. It's more about the place, right? Yeah. And it's awesome. The yeah. decoration is great, it's packed. It's packed on like a Tuesday morning. We did not expect that, but yeah. this is great. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Definitely recommend, this is a, a great American experience, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> bon appetit. Have for breakfast. <laughs> I'm so full. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> but we got cinnamon rolls. Oh yeah, Rachel is an angel. For tomorrow. Her name is Jessica. <laughs> what a... Jessica was an angel. She is an angel. Yes. Oh, those neighborhood joints always yep. fill you to the brim. They never disappoint. It was very good. Oh. We'll see you guys later for something very weird that this guy is having. Barbecue ice cream. First time for everything. Well, I had one more chance to get Kansas City barbecue, so I had to go for it. But this time, it's in an actual ice cream. So they do a collaboration here. This is called Betty Ray's Ice Cream. They collaborate with Joe's barbecue that we went to and had the burnt ends. And this actually has pieces of burnt ends in it. I've got a nurse. <laughs> barbecue ice cream. That's actually very tasty. It's very like complex, so, like the sweetness of the barbecue sauce like works with the sweetness of whatever ice cream flavor this is. But the chunks of burnt ends are like kind of stringy and the texture is a little bit odd. 
but it's good. It's like smoky, sweet, barbecue-y. Kansas City was such a nice surprise. We felt so happy and grateful that we ended up here. So thank you everyone who sent recommendations and thank you Kansas City for the memories. We can't wait to be back. And if you guys want to check other US videos, I'm going to put our Dallas video here. So you guys can check that one next. Thanks for watching. Bye.